Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I'm going to teach search criteria using Laravel API. So I have already taught this how to make the API cred using Laravel. Uh, those who are not watched those videos, I gave the link on my disc video description. You just click and watch them. It is very help you to learn Laravel uh, program, right? You, you grow to your Laravel knowledge, right? Now here, I'm going to teach the Laravel API search, right? If you enter there, uh, here if, you are, if I enter search, here 7, here this ID 7, if you click enter key, I want to display there, this particular record, right? How to work the Laravel search application using the RESTful API, right? There are many students who request me that, that's why I bring the video. So let's go to my application. This is the complete print application already did. And if you are not watched them, I will, I, I will give the video description with all the uh, application uh, links, right? You, you can go and watch them, right? Now I'm going to go to first, I'm going to go to the controller. Controller, sorry, the, this routes, routes API. First we have to, starting from the routes, first we have to, we already we give the controller path over here. We no need to give. So first you have to start the route get right route get you have right here that you search you have write id comma how does it you have write employee control this class employee control class you have to write here inside, inside the double quotation, single quotation. You have to write search. That's it. That's the thing type, right? When the URL coming search along with the ID, it goes to the search function, right? So search function already declared here. Here I'm going to create the search function. So let's create the search function here. Okay, whenever you where you can create a uh, search function where you want. I just create the here. You write function. So type is search. Receive the ID. Okay, you have sent the ID here. You have received the ID here. What's the ID you are sending? Right? So here, you just here, the simple, the, the core string here in PHP. Here, set so this ID. Okay, in the URL, you have to type slash search you are typing the ID, what you are going to do is you are calling the employee controller search action method. So getting here the action method, receiving the ID. After that, you have to search using the search criteria. Here you have to make the variable employees, employee, employees, equal, so employee, equal, and find one employee, okay. Where you are finding the employee with the employee model, okay. Employee model is a part where communicate the database and uh, patch the data from the database and give to the view. So here I'm going to get the data from the employee model. Employee model, this, there is a where, where close. Here, where close, there is an ID on the database. This is how you search, right? This ID, we have to match with this ID, right? This ID, okay? The, in database, there is a there the API. There is a, we have defining the ID like like this. Okay, so this ID you can see here. This ID here, this ID column. This ID you have to declare here. What is ID you are typing here? This ID matching with this ID. The appropriate record will be shown, right? So here, how to show? You have to write a get method. Okay, get method. We are using the get method. After that, get the result. And you have to return to if you if you have a view, you can return back to the view. Okay, now I no need the review. I am I have get the response into our API. So API how to implement it here. You have to write like this JSON here employee. That's the thing you have to write. The simple stuff, very simple. We have to we have to write the API. Right now, let's file, save all, bring back to our application. But how, how the URL works? You can see the go to the routes, get the URL, 
Okay, this is URL. So write like this. API, this is a URL coming. Okay, in API you can type this is your port where your Laravel is running. Okay, this is a port here, it's a port running. If you are using the API access, your API access slash your URL slash search this to URL, particular URL. Which ID you can search if you want ID number nine, press enter key. Uh, call undefined get. I have a problem with the, the get function. Right, we have a problem with the get function. We are we are going to go go here. Here that would be fine. So let's back to the error. You have check it. The error is coming from here. It will be highlighting here in this line. So this line the wrong is the here we have a wrong with the colon. So let's go to the controller here. The sorry the routes folder API. Here double colon. Here we have to use the single colon only. That's fine. Right. Save all. Now we have to bring back the application and check it. Press enter key on your here. The relevant record will be displayed. If you have seven, record will be displayed. Right. If you want to, if you are, if you have a, if you install your VS Code editor, you have an extension called Thunder Client. Right. You have go to the Thunder Client here. Extension. You have to, you have to go to the uh, extension. You have to install Thunder Client. Okay. Thunder Client. You have to, here I have okay here thunder client i already uh, installed this one okay you have to install that in thunder client okay so i have a problem with my internet that's why it will not show yes thunder client here you can see you can type thunder client okay here you can easily yeah, click new request if you are extend if you install this particular uh, extension you can see here this, uh, you will be able to see the restful api here instead of installing the postman it's very simple here copy this one Paste this URL over here, send it here. Simple here, structure here. The structure will be easily displayed here. So this is a nine. Easily you can see. So 10. The record is not there. 11 is there. The record is not there, right? So it's six. Seven, eight. Okay, there are three records are there, I think. Right? Eight is only seven nine record is there right slide okay here it's, it's searching is beautiful right so you can use this search criteria look look like this okay so uh this how we have searched the record right first you have to implement the uh let's see same thing like this right if you have go to the explorer you have to uh, go from the starting from the routes your first you have to decline the routes like this after that, like uh, route is the request is coming slash search ID. It goes to the controller, employee controller. Here, search method. You have to you, you must declare in the method where you will be controller will be go. Right? Get the particular request. It goes to the search method along with the ID. It get the ID and passing here. Test with the API. The result is it will be searching via the model. Get the re records and passing to the uh, variable and and passing the API like this. Thank you for watching.